Right, I have no idea how this is allowed, but apparently you can post race footage on YouTube these days. <laughs> anyway, this is the last stage of the, uh, the last couple of kilometers of Tour Croatia, and it is bonkers. We're going to go to like 3k to go, um, just because that's really where it gets, uh, where it starts to get quite spicy. Actually, we'll just go from here. So this is the first thing. They're on a big road. They take this right-hand corner. It's very wet. And like, okay, fine. This race is not too crazy. Like, sorry, that corner is not too crazy for a race. Let's be honest. So anyway, Bahrain on the front. Aolo on the right, trying to lead out. Jonathan Milan, big favourite. B&B have some fast guys. But, I mean, look at them. Most of them don't look too interested. It's quite a reduced bunch. It was quite a hilly day. Like, not mountainous, but just rolly all day. Um, you can see Buddy on HSF on the left moving up now. Uh, again, they are going for Sasha Modlo if he's here. If not, Luca Colnaghi uh, is a fast man for them. Then we have Bingo South Powson on the right hand side as well. Um, coming up, well, actually, right and left hand side. So it's, it's sort of easy to show from the overhead how chaotic the final is. But you can see uh, with Barim Victorious moving up on the left hand side, taking this corner. And you can see they slow down a lot. And it makes sense because number one, no one's going to dive bomb you on them when it's wet like this because they're probably going to crash. And what it means is that when you take it out and you drill it, everyone who's too far back is now gone. Thanks for coming. You can see Jonathan Milan moving up here. He knows because now I'm pretty sure this is Morridge on the front absolutely launching it. And what it means is that if you're far back, you can see some of the guys maybe 20th wheel back. When there's the next corner coming up, exactly the same thing. They have to go down to basically 5k an hour and then sprint back up to 50k an hour. While these guys, okay, maybe they go to 20 to 25k an hour, but... That's obviously a lot easier. So you can see the left-hand corner here, nothing too crazy. Like, to be honest, it's not, it doesn't look that bonkers at the moment, but the last K is going to be absolutely crazy. But you can see behind Milan, there's gaps everywhere because it's just like out of the corners, everyone's searching to get back on. And then around here, you know, they close half the road off as well. So it's literally impossible to pass. You can see how slow they're going around this left-hand corner again. Um, super, super good. Like if you're at the front, just because when it comes uh, when it uh, like comes out the corner, it stretches out. You can see the gaps between the riders are increasing. You're not getting good at draft. Milan, okay, the guy in front of the Bayani boy is tiny, but at least he's straight on his wheel. Well, you can see everyone else is finally now getting on their wheel. Like if you look five, six wheels back, everyone's now on the wheel again. This is the nutty corner. Now watch the Bayani boy. The Bayani boy sits it down here, um, like fourth, like second wheel now. He literally just skids out, which is crazy. Uh, we can watch that again, to be honest, because that was actually pretty mental. We just watched that. It literally gets on the pedals and just slips over. But now that's created a bottleneck. So Bahrain leading out. Brandon Rivera sees time gaps. He sees, oh, where's Vingegaard? I want to move up on GC. A really clever ride from him. Jonathan Mann does big shift on the left-hand side to move up. You can see he's carrying a lot more speed with his corner. Brandon, Brandon Rivera is on the, here. There's another right-hand corner. This is nutty, but like 150 meters to go. And then literally he starts sprinting. And you're like, sorry, two, well, like 300 meters to go which I don't know how it's allowed. Then there's another corner here, which is like 100 meters to go. Literally, who designed this course? I have no idea. I thought you weren't allowed so many corners in the final of the race. Anyway, bonkers. And then uh, we've got a sprint from Axel Laurent on the left-hand side of the road, and he basically boxes in Milan. Milan is then going here. You can see he's the quicker man, but just doesn't have enough time to, to move up. But yeah, that was absolutely bonkers. I have no idea how they allowed that to be a finish. Ignore if it was wet or dry. Like, that's just crazy with the number of corners in the last, like, two corners in the last... 300 meters it's just bonkers but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoyed this quick vid hopefully it won't get taken down it seems like these days you can just do anything on youtube